A local comic book store is keeping the legend of a mysterious monster alive. And they plan to donate a portion of the proceeds along the way. News 3's JC Brian has more on the mystery and the excitement. In a blast from the past, Muddy Monster Comics is taking us to a time where a possible monster roamed the area. And he saw it and went in and told his parents, Mommy, Daddy, there's a big ghost in the backyard. So they kind of placated him and thought nothing else, and then the police start showing up. Mike No, owner of Muddy Monster Comics, is using his love for comic books to bring back a true story from Murfreesboro. There's like a three inch thick file folder in black bold marker on the front says Big Muddy Monster. So, and that's a bunch of police reports and even a eyewitness sketch of the creature and photographs of footprints and stuff like that. In 1973, several reports were made about a large white creature between seven and eight feet tall. No says the comic reaccounts the sightings and supplies a map. You may even recognize some of the characters. If ever anybody's familiar with the old comics like I was talking about, there was Uncle Creepy and, you know, Cousin Eerie and then the Crypt Keeper in some old EC comics. So the story is actually being narrated by Will, by the mayor. A portion of the proceeds from the comic will also be donated in order to give back. We're kind of capitalizing on the town's legend, you know what I mean? We, I can only see it as being the right thing to do is to take, to donate a portion of the proceeds, you know, back to the city to use as they see fit. And what's been decided is to go with the, uh, the restoration of the old depot building. In Murfreesboro, JC Brianne, News 3. No says the comic is available for pre-order and almost 200 copies have already been reserved. He hopes to have the official release during the Muddy Apple Festival with book signings from the artists and from the author.